Hey friends, I found this awesome app where you can face swap yourself in real time with whatever photo you want. And I thought it was really cool. I wanted to check it out and show you. And um, there are several different features on here, which I find to be fun and useful. And I wanted to try them out just to see how they look and uh, test the quality and also uh, how they run on my computer and stuff. I saw a tutorial on how to do this and it wasn't too hard to set up or anything and apparently you can even stream live like onto your Twitch channel or something so I wanted to check it out and just see what does it look like and uh, right now I've got this cute girl. You can load photos up into a folder to reference from pro the program so it's already running. I'll just show you that there is this folder section right here and there's a bunch of photos. Some of them came with the software. I can show you some of the default ones. Here's one with Elon Musk. If you can imagine uh, you can take anyone's face, talk and it'll basically say whatever you're saying in real time. So yeah. Here's Joe Biden. That's right, I just uh, dropped out of the race because I'm getting too old and uh, ha, ha, ha. These are just some of the default ones that came with it. I really do think that we should uh, stop all these silly wars. I, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but uh, yeah, if we could all just stop bombing one another, that would be great. We had created some fun AI girls I wanted to try. This one is a little blurry for some reason. So these ones will basically take your facial expressions and swap the original photo with your facial expressions. And I wanted to try out the quality, just see what it looks like. We're trying to see if it makes any difference if our photo that we're swapping has makeup, see if that makes a difference in the quality. So hopefully we can do more of this in real time with different faces and try out different personalities on our stream. There are some other ways to use this software and one of which is that instead of using the face animator, you can use, I think it's this one, the face swap. Usually it'll take a second to load. So we have this face swapped window, which is a square, but as you can see in the lower right hand corner here, it'll take our widescreen video and swap my face and keep the whole entire background and stuff. This one's cool, but so what this will do is it'll just swap your face and that way it'll maintain the background and everything else. Yeah, it makes me look like a super cute girl. <laughs> Makes me look about 25 years younger, which is exactly what we're going for. Let's try this one. I brought a couple wigs just to see if it makes it look any better. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm so much cuter. <laughs> Alright, where's the boob swapper so I can then get like some giant boobs? <laughs> now you can stream and you don't even have to like give away your identity. You just create a, an alternate avatar or a hundred alternate avatars. Okay, cool. This is awesome and yeah. Look at how freaking cute this is. <laughs> Let's see, can I still drink water? What if I put an object in front of my face? <laughs> I'm just kind of curious, like, because it's swapping my face, but then what about objects in front? This is so fun. I was, like, expecting this to be awesome, but I wasn't sure, like, how awesome it was going to be. But now that we're here, I'm seeing it is just as awesome if not more than I expected it to be. Um, yeah, basically at this point, it looks like technology is at the point where we can just completely swap our face with any old photo. Uh, so you can imagine what the media is going to be like in the future. I want to play with some more of these controls if I can. I'm still pretty new to this software and I just started using it the other day. So. Back over here, I'm just looking at the controls. One thing I wanted to point out from the tutorial that I watched is that they were saying, don't forget to add it as NVIDIA GeForce. Yeah, one of the things is that if you have NVIDIA, um, make sure to select that and that'll make sure that it runs with your GPU so you'll have the best chance at performance and whatnot. So like right here, um, K 
camera stories is where I set direct show and then um, you can go all the way up to 1920 by 1080 but we went ahead and just did 1280 by 720 for now. You can open the camera settings and this is where I went over here to zoom my source camera. It depends on what you're going for. I guess I'm just leaving it like this because I wanted the output to look pretty natural. So up here, I don't even really know what all this stuff means. <laughs> all I know is that it works when it's under these settings. So I had chosen this was the default and then I chose NVIDIA. Down here is the face aligner, which you can adjust and then the face marker, I chose the Google face mesh, but there's a couple other options like the insight face. And once again, the GeForce can be selected for the performance. And then there's these different options. So the one that we're on now is the real time face swapper. And you would need to have like a wig or have your background all ready to go because it's just going to swap the face. We had rendered out all these awesome EDC lovers in stable diffusion and they turned out to be really pretty and I couldn't wait to see my face all swapped. Alright, look at how cute this is. For anyone who is thinking about plastic surgery, you might as well try face swapping first and see if that will satiate your urge. <laughs> I'm only mostly joking, that's just because I have like an extreme fear of pain. Though I have thought about plastic surgery, what must that be like and everything, would I ever get it and stuff. Personally, I'm way too afraid to go under the knife. I even have to get my wisdom teeth out soon and yeah, I'm really scared. I don't want to do it. I'm scared to get my wisdom teeth out because I think it's going to hurt really bad. I feel similarly about plastic surgery. I think it would hurt way too much. And even if I wanted to Snapchat face, I don't think I could do it because the thought of the pain, it makes me squirm. I don't know, I really get queasy when I see blood, stuff like that. So yeah, but for anyone who wishes they looked like a cartoon, this is a perfect alternative. You can imagine the different use cases, like you could come up with little short stories, come up with different characters. You can use this real-time face swapper with real-time voice swapping as well. That way it can sound like any other character as well and it doesn't have to be your natural voice. In my case, your natural voice is pretty recognizable to anyone who's heard it before. So you may want to be a completely different person and this is one way to go about that route without actually going under the knife. <laughs> Some of the faces I was trying to choose had like makeup and stuff on them. I'm trying to load the next one just to see. Some of them might not work because they might have too much rainbow makeup on them. Oh wait, there we go! <laughs> but I think I want to try a different face, so I'm going to go into my folder really quick and get a couple more. <laughs> oh my god, these are so cute. I am so stoked about this program because I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. All I know is that I love it! <laughs> totally want to stream as different people now. So we all come up with some different characters with different personalities and we can better illustrate what it's like to have so many different personalities all within. <laughs> you can finally show what it's like. Okay, cool. Uh, let me refresh because I added a couple more photos. Is it believable? <laughs> it looks great with the blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is what it would be like if I had a face that looks like this. I'll try this one. How's that? How do you like me now? <laughs> this is so crazy. Um, Alright, cool. Well, I'll definitely get some more wigs. I wanted to show you the other one some more because the face animator. You don't actually need the wig for this one. This is the one that will retain the whole photo background. So if you have this gorgeous hair in your photo then it'll keep it and or if you're a cartoon or if you've got this beautiful makeup and hair then uh, yeah it'll retain the background. Alright. So yeah look at how pretty this hair and makeup is and it's much better than how I am in real life. <laughs> this one is a little bit weird. It could be something about it. Maybe like the closer it is to the face, then the better. So some of these may turn out to work better than others just based on the photo that you upload. 
I just got this software the other day, so I'm not sure what all the details are that make it awesome. Kind of just trying it out together. And if you have any tips or tricks that you know about, then let me know. This one. I love the Disney character style in AI whenever it's got like these really cute big eyes and lips and now I can be my own Disney character. <laughs> so cute. All right. <laughs> All right, friends, well, I just wanted to show you this awesome software, Deep Face Live. Just point it out because it could be fun to try out in your own spare time. Let me know if you're gonna try it out or if you have already, and if so, like, what are your own use cases? For me, I think I just wanted to show you and perhaps try it while actually streaming live one day. And I wanted to test out my computer and see if it was uh, gonna run fast and if it looks real or, or what, so. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.